Here is an example of a picture where more is less, less in size, but not in quality. And um, the picture is perhaps an inch and a half big. It's by a very rare master, Christoffel von der Berger, who lived at the same time as Bruegel. And on this little copper, we see no less than seven or eight figures. Musicians, couples, and figures in the background. We see waterfalls, a castle. We have landscape and water. We have a whole landscape in just one and a half inches. This picture, from what I heard, is 60,000 or 65,000 euros, but it's a jewel by a painter who only did 30 pictures, which we know of. And where would you find it except perhaps an affair like Bafta? One question about the market, because you mentioned the price. Yes. Um, what, what do you think about the difference of prices between ancient art and old master paintings and contemporary art? I think it's, I think it's exaggerated. I've always felt that um, contemporary and modern art is overpriced compared to old masters, especially Dutch and Flemish. They've risen modestly at 5-6% over the last 100 years. Uh, old masters um, have gone slowly contemporary art, because it's easier to understand for so many people, um, has risen considerably higher. And I find, um, personally, if I was to invest money, I wanted to buy the most for my money, I would buy old masters. Although, if I had a lot of money, I'd buy both. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.